Hi, my name is Nicoletta. My name is Chris. And we are Prospective Duo. We are part of uh, the TECNE project. Uh, which is a collaboration among many institutions in Europe and supporting uh, uh, sound research. And in this case, we are uh, hosted by Trafo in collaboration with the Academy of Arts and uh, we are developing new work based around sound. generally that we're two musicians and we've been working together for about nine years and in our practice we do performances, we make our own musical instruments, uh, mainly electronic musical instruments, we make sound installations and yeah everything in between really. So a lot of times we're doing this work through artist residencies and so we travel a lot in our practice so we actually don't have a home base, we just move between um, artist residencies and concerts. So we've kind of had this uh, nomadic practice for around seven years, going between different places, trying to um, reimagine what we're doing every time we go to a new place, and always revolving around building new instruments and sound installations and stuff like that. to be patient with the work because sometimes uh, a different location uh, wants you to do some uh, different work or have a different approach to your work than your latest location let's say but maybe the work in the previous place is not over so you have to like re restate the purpose of the work <laughs> and uh, yeah like uh, keep true to what your goals are and sometimes imagine how you can improve it even more. So I think, yeah, like keep the goals straight even if everything around you is changed. I think the most rewarding part about what we're doing is just that it can exist at all. So just that we have this and that we can keep doing it is the reward. Um, I think that's what we're, our real goal is, is to be able to do what we're doing now. And of course we're always looking ahead for something else and something more, but just that we have what we have already is already a huge reward. I think uh, for me is the reaction of the people that experience our work, especially if, um, if it stays in time. Like uh, we get reactions after our concerts and it's fantastic, but then sometimes we get messages even like months or years after we have left the place and uh, it means like it meant something and uh, it's quite unique. Yeah, I think um, 
when you work with other people, the most beautiful part about it is that you can expand your understanding of the world and your artistic practice beyond what your own brain is capable of. But that that only works when you are able to listen and take in what, what is happening around you. And so my advice for people working in duos or trying to collaborate is to listen a lot and to make sure that the sum as much as possible is greater than the parts. We talk to some other friends of ours and sometimes they're like, oh, I work, work together with this other person and it's like one plus one equals zero, but it should be more like one plus one equals three. You really want to, you want to as much as possible, take in everybody's best qualities and help elevate everybody around you, yeah. I think uh, it's very simple but necessary to say that uh, Two people need to uh, dedicate the same amount of time and to be in the same place to do the same thing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think it's very rare that uh, long distance collaborations uh, are very fruitful on the long term. Yeah, I don't know, it's kind of, you know, like that people have other work, jobs, families, and things. So. Yeah, I think we're really lucky that this isn't uh, kind of uh, one or the other person's project that the other person is participating in, but that it's like really all of our project and that we're really like, that's what we do. <laughs> so.